What's up guys, Swap Meet Saturday. It's bright and early, and I know I'm gonna be a little rusty because it's been a while since um, I came out here, but I really wanna step up the uh, game all around Swap Meet, thrifting, Ross, merch, YouTube. I don't know how, but uh, I'm gonna try. So, I'm out here, and um, I really wanna try to get also back into the FBA stuff, so I'm gonna be scanning, trying to see uh, maybe some games, things like that out here, and uh, we'll set up the GoPro, see what we find out here. Also, maybe hopefully some shoes or jerseys, something, and uh, at the very end, I'll just get everything together, and we can kind of go over and see what I picked up. Uh, if I don't pick up anything, well, then this whole video was a waste then. All right, let's see what they got. Eight bucks.
So we're done. I spent maybe around an hour and a half there. Uh, Money-wise, I don't know how much I spent. We're gonna have to break it all down. I got everything in here. Of course, the find of the day, um, the Adidas Predator cleats. I found two pairs. And um, I'm equally excited about the Black Label Society vest. Uh, Zach Wild would be very, very proud. So uh, yeah, got the bravado tag on there. So once I saw that, of course, I was like, okay, cool. It's an authentic product. It's not just like a, people just ironed on some patches on there. So pretty pumped. Let's go home, break everything down, how much I spent, how much I hope to get for these items. So we'll see you guys there. So back home, let's review the finds from this morning. Jersey, vest, cleats, and video games. Terrell Davis, Denver Broncos champion jersey. Let me see, where is the, yeah. Oh, it's a Nike jersey, my bad. Nike jersey, where I got the tag right there. So I paid uh, 13 bucks for it. Probably gonna sell for about 35, maybe 40. I think I sold the like navy blue one uh, maybe eight months ago, 12 months ago. It's been a while. And I believe I got 30, 35 for that one. So uh, I just gotta wash it, clean it up a little bit. Um, it's a little dirty, but no like rips or tears, nothing. So that one should be good uh, to go. Some Broncos fan will like that. Video games. WWE All-Stars, I did pay the full 15 for it. It's selling right now for 35 on Amazon FBA. It's in, I mean, the disc is in good shape, and I just figured, you know what, I'll make my, what, maybe eight to 12 bucks on it. I forgot on that one for the profit-wise. And then uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. I've sold this one before, but it's gone down in price. I think it's selling for like $21 right now on Amazon FBA. I got this for uh, three bucks and that one also in pretty good shape. So I'll send those in and just, uh, you know, wait until someone buys those and then we're fine there. Now, the two big time finds. Let's get into the Black Label Society vest. This thing, now if you watch the video, it was just thrown in in a pile of clothes. Uh, there's a lot of digging, and this person that, uh, he's, he's there every Saturday, more or less. He has just, like, a big pile of clothes, and in there is, like, bed sheets, bras, jerseys are randomly thrown in there, and then things like this. So you have to do the digging, but I just glanced over, and I think I saw, like, the society part, or maybe one, or the top part, I don't know, and I was like, what? So Black Label Society, and I was just kind of curious to see what it was. And then when I uh, got it out of the pile, I saw it and started looking at, you know, the patches and stuff. I was like, hmm, either someone ironed them on, sewed them on or something, and it's just kind of like a regular uh, vest and nothing really that special. And someone put it, kind of put it together. But then I noticed the Bravado tag. So if you're selling a lot of different music or artists, merchandise, things like that, uh, Bravado has really, really good merchandise, authentic merchandise. So that was like, okay, cool. Now I got to see how much this guy wants for it. Five dollars. Five bucks would have paid for it. And I didn't even check the completed listings or anything. I just thought it was really, really cool piece anyway. And I was like, man, that's cool. So picked it up. And then I checked today on eBay. Uh, we're actually just right now when I got home and someone sold one for uh, $71 plus shipping uh, So that's a really really good sign. You see some little thread Let's See it right there a uh, little issues here and there. I'm gonna have to kind of fix it up definitely wash it first and then clean it up um, But maybe I'll try for 80 range maybe 100 range Maybe after I wash it. I can just look at the details and see if there's anything um Missing or rips or tears, but overall, I mean it looks in really really good shape. So uh, I think we should be fine there, but I'm I'm just Interested to see what it will go for pretty awesome uh, Find just a random cool piece now Predator 18.1 So I got two pairs. This one is an eight and a half. I think the other one is a nine and a half Let me see. They're both brand new nine and a half so the guy, <laughs> the guy had some other Marshalls finds. So it makes me wonder, wonder if he got them. I've never seen them at Marshalls, but who knows? 
Uh, I doubt it they would be at Marshall's. Maybe he got them at the outlet. Maybe, I don't know where he got them because he had some other shoes there. You watch the video. I think he had the Hirachi basketball shoes. It still had the Marshalls tag on it. So they look good. And I paid 75 each. Um, he wanted yeah 150 for both. So 75 each. Pretty good sizes at 8.5 and 9.5. And and so I was happy to pay that. These sell for $200. Some sold for 165 I think that's really, really low. 200 is a good range. Some listed for like 230 so i mean there's big time money it's 18.1s these are these are just some awesome cleats um i've seen just different reviews on them um very very rare to find i think especially at a swap meet but uh these are just awesome looking I'll show you guys the bottoms real quick so i'm gonna try to get these listed too also part of the uh out hustled challenge because uh i got some money out from that too and i was like i really need to boost up these finds and paid the 75 each uh, for these. Gotta, I gotta try to list them pretty soon. Um, see what I can get for them. Uh, hopefully they can sell sooner than later. But good sizes, 8.5 and 9.5 and and for the cleats. So let me know what you think about this video. Swap Meet Saturdays, trying to bring it back. Hopefully every Saturday. No guarantee, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to go as many times as possible and, and try to get a new video every week for the swap meet video so let me know guys what you think about the finds yeah let me know if you went out today garage sales thrift store swap meets let me know my name is glenn with hustler hacks go out and get it